You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. Modern Western medicine has a pill for every ill. Welcome to Holistic Healthy Living with your host, Carrie Leto. Carrie is here to show you the way and to help you to discover a more healthy lifestyle through looking at the body as a whole and looking for the root cause. So now, please welcome the host of Holistic Healthy Living, Carrie Leto. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Holistic Healthy Living. I'm your host, Carrie Leto, and we are on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. I hope everyone had a great day today. I want to thank everyone that tunes in to listen every week. Thank you so much for being here. And if you're new to the show, Holistic Healthy Living is the show that brings you holistic practices and practitioners, who we are, what we do, and where you can find us. So what is Holistic. Holistic looks at the body as a whole, as a whole system that works together in harmony. You have trillions of cells in your body. These cells come together to form organs, and the organs come together to form systems, all working together. Remember, sometimes holistic practices can be so simple, they tend to be overlooked. A lot of holistic practices date back thousands of years, so they tend to be forgotten. People are always looking to the next best thing, But there's a reason these practices are still alive today. They work. Many holistic practices are commonly referred to as being integrative, alternative, or complementary to Western medicine. And we need them all. We need Western medicine as well. So this show may introduce you to something you've never heard about before. And I want to remind you to stay open, keep your minds open, and remember anything is possible. You are off in your own roadblock, so keep that open mind. And who am I in the holistic world? I'm a holistic health and lifestyle coach, yoga and Pilates teacher, personal trainer, and Reiki master. I own a studio and spa called KNP Holistic Health and Fitness located in Franklin, New Jersey. Our mission statement is to promote wellness of body, mind, and spirit. We offer yoga, Pilates, and fitness classes, both group classes and private sessions, uh, personal training, Reiki sessions, massage therapy, and skin care. Our skin care room offers facials, body wraps, makeup, waxing, and lash extensions, and we use all natural products. We also make our own all natural aromatherapy products like lip balms, body, uh, body butters, and uh, deodorants. And remember, your skin is your largest organ, so take care of it, especially now as it's winter here in the Northern Hemisphere. And where I live in the Northeast, it's starting to get pretty cold. And your skin absorbs a lot of what, uh, what you put on it, so keep that in mind. Read the ingredients. Okay, so are you all ready for some relaxation now? I start the show out just as I do all of my yoga classes with little breath work and centering. So if you're listening to this and you're driving right now, of course, you're not going to close your eyes, but you can join us for the breath work. And if you're home, go ahead and get comfortably seated if you can. Take a moment to get comfortable. Remember to keep your back as straight as possible so you keep your main energy channels open and accessible. Go ahead and roll your shoulders back a few times. Just start to loosen up a bit. And if you're home and comfortably seated, you can go ahead and close your eyes. And just start to focus on your breath. Bring the attention to the air you're bringing into the body and exhaling out of the body. Each breath in is bringing fresh, loving, healing energy into the body, bringing love and light 
and nourishment to every cell in your body. Feel it coming in and each exhale is letting go of anything you no longer need. Anything that is no longer serving you. Anything that feels negative to you. Do you feel any negative emotions? Go ahead and let go of them. They are not good to hold on to. They could stay stuck in the body, so we want to release them. So anything that feels negative here, tension, anxiety, fear, anger, depression, pain, these are all negative feelings. Let go of them and bring that fresh healing energy in. Allowing the body to relax. Slowing down the breathing just a bit. Nice deep breath in. Nice deep breath out. Enter into your sacred space. Remember, nothing can bother you here. This is your space. This is your time. And if you have not yet created a sacred space, go ahead and do so now. Think about your most favorite place, wherever that is for you. The place that helps you relax. The place where you are most at peace. Still focusing on the breath, bringing healing energy in and letting go of anything negative. Now try to feel the energy flowing throughout the body. Is it flowing freely? Or do you feel any stagnation anywhere? We don't want to feel any stagnation or anything stuck. We want that energy to keep moving freely. So if a particular area needs some special attention today, go ahead and send the energy there. Breathe into it. Bring that fresh energy from the inhale and send it to wherever it needs to be. Now reach into your heart center, that part of you that is unconditional love. Reach to your highest self. Find that little bowl of white gold healing light and allow it to expand out into all of your energy centers expanding past your body now into your aura fields bringing cleansing and healing to everything it touches go ahead and allow it to cleanse your entire sacred space allow it to heal any situation in your life that may need healing and maybe you know someone that could use a little bit of this healing right now Go ahead and send it out to them. Just think of them and send some of this wonderful healing energy out to them. And now start to bring that light back into your heart center. Know that it is here for you whenever you need it. Ask it for healing, ask it for help, ask it for guidance whenever you feel you need it. And now bring your attention back to your breath. Nice long inhale, nice long exhale. Now this time, nice big inhale and sigh that exhale out your mouth. (sighs) Go ahead and start to wiggle your hands and your feet. Bring awareness back into the body and back into the room. 
and slowly start to open your eyes. And how you feeling? I hope you're all feeling more relaxed and refreshed now, a little more stretched out and open. And I have a guest with me tonight, uh, Will Conquered Cancer, and now he is helping others do the same. How did he do it? We're going to find out when we come back from a short break. I'm Carrie Leto. You're listening to Holistic Healthy Living on TuneIn Radio and the BBM Global Network. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. There are artists and then there's Alice Asmar. This award-winning artist has spent her entire life devoted to her artistic pursuits and has had a lifelong fascination with American Indians of the southwestern United States. Her book, Dance to the Great Spirit, showcases her drawings and paintings inspired by sacred rituals of the Pueblo Indians and four of her lithographs are in permanent collection at the National Museum of American History and the Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C. She is one of four artists in the United States to win a Woolley Fellowship for study in Paris at Les Colday Beaux-Arts and has been featured in numerous publications. She's exhibited at the world's most prestigious museums and galleries and recently won a 20-year service award from the Burbank City Council and the inaugural art competition of the Foundation of the United States in Paris. Visit www.asmarart.com www. AliceAsmarInternational.com and email Alice at AliceAsmar at AOL.com. Joseph A. Moylan is the owner of Ion Health, which specializes in very unique medical devices. Ion Health offers biomats, alkalife, and frequency machines. Biomats are a far infrared and negative ion emitting FDA approved medical device. With many different sizes available, you can place them on your bed, on a massage table, or on a seat in your car. It is an unobtrusive way to health. Alkalife machines are water ionizers that cleanse and raise the alkalinity of your tap water, making high alkaline water. Frequency machines utilize certain frequencies to kill viruses and bacteria. These devices are safe and effective. Coming from a health-conscious background and studying physiology at the Academy of Natural Health, Joseph A. Moylan has 15 years of experience in the health field and wants to help you live a healthy, long life. Visit www.ionhealthbiomats.weebly.com or call 765-520-2988. Don't let your health go astray. Get in touch today. Welcome back to Holistic Healthy Living. We're on TuneIn Radio and the BBM Global Network. I'm your host, Carrie Leto. We have a very interesting story tonight. I have uh, William Anthony with me. Uh, Will conquered cancer, and now he's helping others to do the same. So we're going to find out how he did it. Will, let's hear your story. you got a yeah. very inspiring story. How you doing? I'm great. Yeah, how are so you? Base- good, good. I'm I'm really grateful I have this opportunity to share this story because that's what I do. I'm trying to let everybody know that, you know, you could beat it no matter what they tell you. And no matter what's happening out there, there's ways of being it. And and one of the number one ways of, of beating this and what I call my recipe is number one on the recipe is you pray really hard to God and 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 you have to maintain and be very positive and strong about about this. And that's basically um, how it all starts, you know? So yep, mindset means a lot. Me, yeah, what happened with me was I woke up one morning, my ear was clogged. I didn't know. I thought I had earwax. I went to the doctors, and he sent me to a specialist, and he specially stuck a scope up my nose, and he goes, you have very bad cancer. You have a tumor pushing up against your ear from the inside. That's why you're having this pressure on your ear, and your ear's clogged. I was like, oh, my God. I'm like, all right. I'm like, I didn't know what to do. And he's like, well, you need immediate treatment. I'm going to tell you right now. You need to come in for a biopsy, and then you need to have immediate treatment. And I'm thinking, you know, I always try to be healthy and do the healthy thing, you know, and then talking to my friends who are all telling me, you know, you got to go this way, you got to do this, you got to do that. So I said to the doctor, I said, you know, well, I'm going to look into different ways of taking care of this holistically natural foods he said to me you don't have time you don't have time for that in a week it will be in your eye you're going to be blind and you're going to it's going to go in your brain so what i was diagnosed with was nasopharyngeal carcinoma which is i had cancer in my nasal passages in my throat my pharynx it spread down into my lymph nodes it was on its way into my collarbone and into my lungs it was very bad. And wow. I had no idea that it was that bad. 
because the only the only symptom I had was my ear was clogged. Mm-hmm. So, and and the thing what I found out about cancer is when you finally feel the pain and that something's really wrong, it's almost too late. The mm-hmm. cancer is already on its way. It's doing its thing. So mm-hmm. very important is, you know, get checked on a regular basis. You know, you go to the doctors, you get a checkup. Make sure you say to them, do me a favor, do a cancer screening. Maybe it's an extra vial of blood they have to take out just to make sure because early detection is very important in beating cancer from what I see and what I've experienced. Mm-hmm. So anyhow, I was able to right away, I ended up at a very good hospital, very good doctors at Morristown, and they basically looked at me and they sent me to this uh, Dr. Wong, fantastic head and head and neck specialist, radiation specialist. And he said to me, he goes, your cancer is very bad. He said, the only, he goes, we need to shrink it as much as possible with very extreme aggressive chemotherapy. And then you need radiation after that to basically burn whatever's left over. And hopefully, you know, it's all done. He goes, uh, you're not going to be able to swallow. You're going to lose the ability to swallow. So you're going to need a feeding tube. And then uh, in the in the range of pain from zero to 10, you're going to be like a 14. I was like, oh 14? I go, for like, oh, my God. I was like, for what, a couple of days? He goes, no, uh, for a couple of months. I'm, wow. I'm like, what do you mean a couple of months? How am I going to do this? He goes, listen, it's not easy. It's not easy. I'm telling you right now, you're going to be in a lot of pain. And, and the chemo is horrible. And I didn't know what to do. You know, my business, mm-hmm. my family, how am I going to pay bills? This is all like added stress to this. It, it's terrible. Sure. But I stayed positive. And the first thing I did was I said to my one friend who's into Reiki and a lot of natural mm-hmm. stuff, and she's one of my best friends. And I said to her, listen, I said, I need to change everything. I need to change my diet. And along with the treatments of chemo and radiation, I need to be as as good as possible with my diet. So right away, I went with a high protein, almost zero carbs, no sugar, and we start. We introduced uh, more of um, the essential oils. I mm-hmm. do aromatherapy, and I did I brought in essential oils into this whole situation. And also started on CBD oils because Mm -hmm. I've heard good things about it. And so what I basically started doing was actually researching what is necessary to beat cancer. What can I eat? What can I drink? What should I stay away from? I started all that. And basically it came down to that I needed to make my body as alkaline as possible. Mm -hmm. So what's the easiest way was to drink lemon water. Basically you buy spring water or if you can get a higher pH water, which is better, a little more expensive, and you just squeeze lemons into it and you drink that all day long. Stop mm-hmm. with the sugars, stop with the sodas, stop with all that, and just concentrate on that. And it makes your body more alkaline along with the proper diet of vegetables and greens. And you can read up on it, go on Google, whatever, and you can see all the different foods that are that help create a more alkaline environment in your body, which is a number one cancer killer. Mm-hmm. And also it, it helps in, in beating a lot of illnesses, not only just cancer. So I started doing all that. And um, the, 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 the battle with the uh, chemo got worse and hard and very difficult. And I had very, very hard time sleeping and then they had to put a feeding tube in because then I got to the point where I couldn't swallow. And then they said to me, you need to do uh, nine bottles of Ensure a day. And I was like, oh, okay. They're like, you need nutrition. You can't eat. Put it in your feeding tube. I look at the bottle, and um, unfortunately, it has a lot of things that are not good for you, including sugars mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. other things. But, okay, you know what? Um, but if you change your diet, it helps. 
Absolutely. We're going to continue this conversation in just a moment. we got to take another short break here. You're listening to Holistic Healthy Living on TuneIn Radio and BBM Global Network. We will be right back. Renaissance woman, trailblazer, maverick. Those are just some of the words to describe to Chandra Poulard, owner and CEO of House of Virgo Entertainment, LLC, a woman minority veteran-owned entertainment company based in Washington, D.C., Ms. Poulard served 10 years honorably in the United States Navy and departed from active duty to pursue her dreams of becoming an entertainment mogul. House of Virgo Entertainment offers script writing, producing, directing, DJ services, editing, and more. They cater to businesses, corporations, college students, working professionals, aspiring artists and nonprofit organizations, and employ veterans of the armed forces. Tashandra Poulard is pioneering the way we view media and taking her brand global. Visit her at www.houseofvirgoentertainment.com or call 281-515-3740 and like her on Facebook at House of Virgo Entertainment, LLC. Attorney Renee Marie Smith is changing the way we sell real estate. She wrote a series of books called My Short Sale Guru Guides for all real estate practitioners. Whether you're a homeowner wanting to understand the process, an agent who has been handling short sales for years, or an industry analyst wanting to know how short sales impact your business, Renee uses her vast real estate experience to take a comprehensive look at the recent market phenomena while relaying it in an easy-to-understand format. Through her company, Smith Title Services, Renee has counseled thousands of short sale participants and processed in excess of a thousand short sales. Her knowledge is transformational for real estate professionals and laymen alike and her live presentations provide people the opportunity to ask specific questions about their issues. Buy her books and schedule her to speak at your next event. Visit www.smithtitleservices.com or call 305-705-3428 or email her at renee at smithtitleservices.com Isn't it time to sell your property today? Learn the My Short Sale Guru way. And welcome back to Holistic Healthy Living. I'm your host, Carrie Leto, and we're on TuneIn Radio and the BBM Global Network. We're continuing our conversation with uh, William Anthony tonight, who conquered cancer. Will, let's continue your story. We're talking about the insurer yes, and how go. it has shook. Yeah, so basically what I was saying before was that, you know, you got to really concentrate on your diet because your diet is definitely a big part of what causes cancer along with it, your environment, you know. So I... Um, when I was going through this battle and I was on the feeding tube because I couldn't eat or swallow because I had cancer in my throat and my pharyngeal cancer, um, they gave me Ensure. And the nutritionist is like, you need to do about nine bottles a day, three times a day. And I was like, okay, so I'm going to pour it in my feeding tube and that's going to keep me going alive. And I start reading the ingredients on it. And it's loaded with sugar, calories, and all these chemicals that end in eights and ites and oxidol and noxidol and whatever you want to call them. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, no way. I'm I'm trying to fight cancer. I am not putting this stuff in me. And mm-hmm. I told her, and she's like, you need to put something in there. You're going to die because you need to keep your nutrition up and your calories up. I said, all right, I'll figure something out. We got a ninja bullet. My wife started mixing up all kinds of shakes and things. And I was noticing that. I was able to drink milk. Milk was staying down, so she was doing things with, like, milk and bananas and stuff like that and keeping it very organic. So then I said to her, you know, a baby can live off of milk. I'm going to live off of milk. Let me let me try to drink milk, and let's pour a lot of milk. Get me organic milk and stay away from, you know, any processed milk. Mm-hmm. Get me organic milk, and let's do organic. I started doing a gallon of organic milk a day, and... You know, let me tell you, all of a sudden, things changed. My hair that I had lost completely, my skin that looked like gray, and and everything that was looked like was falling apart from the chemo was all of a sudden turning around. My skin mm-hmm. started looking better. My color started looking better. My hair started growing. My eyesight got better. I started feeling stronger. I started feeling less nauseous, and... All of a sudden, I realized I'm on a comeback. I'm on a comeback, Mm -hmm. and this is helping me. I would walk into the cancer center with people I started with and looked very gray and very ill, and they would see me, and they'd be like, hey, you don't even look sick. How you doing? I'm like, I'm doing great. I said, actually, I'm here to beat this battle, and I'm doing organic milk, and I'm trying to 
eat and do everything that could possibly beat it because I'm not going out this way. I asked God and I told God I have unfinished business and that's, this is what I'm doing. So it really brought me back. And then I was having trouble sleeping and, um, and I would only be able to sleep like an hour or two because the, the chemo kept me awake, it kept me waking up and having to feel nauseous and throw up and the whole thing. And I was going through that for months. Mm-hmm. This is realize when you get cancer, this is not like uh, like a, like a cold. Oh yeah, in about a week or two, a couple of antibiotics, I'll be okay. No, months, months curled up in the wall, like you're dying. And right. the, and, and, and a lot of people give up when they get to that situation, that point. But I wasn't going to go. So I was having trouble sleeping. I had this dream of this girl that I used to see power walking around a lake by us. She would swing her arms with determination and that she needed to do this, whatever she was doing, and this power walking she would do. I had a dream of her. So I got up out of bed and I started walking back and forth in my house with a chemo bag connected to me, to my port. And my wife's like, what are you doing? Go back to bed. You're so sick. You should be in bed. I'm like, no, babe, I got to get this chemo out of me. I got to do something. I can't just lay here in bed. I can't sleep. It's killing me. And I started power walking, blah, blah, blah. And then it would tire me out so much. I would go lay down. And then I found myself sleeping three hours, six hours. Mm -hmm. I was actually getting more sleep. The exercise was making me sleep. I told the doctor. He says to me, listen, I don't recommend it, but what you're doing is you're spreading the chemo throughout your whole body into areas where it normally does not go. He goes, most people in your condition are in bed. They're not getting a bed in bed. He goes, mm-hmm. so just take it easy. Don't overdo it. And, you know, go, go, go. So, you know, in one way, the chemo, I was trying to get it out of my system by doing this. And at the same time, I was getting it to every little area that I would sometimes would never get because I was circulating it through my system. Mm-hmm. Well, anyhow, I got through the chemo, and then my next step was radiation. And they said to me, you're going to need eight weeks of radiation. I'm like, eight weeks? Yeah, you need to come every day, five days a week. Make believe it's a job. I'm like, oh, my God. Wow. I mean, so... so if you have a business or a job, forget about it. It's in, it there's no work. There's nothing. You can't do yeah. it. So I was like, all right, this is what I got to do. Be on time because it's very busy. There's a lot of people here. And, you know, I go there and there's a line of people. The cancer center is packed. And they're wow. like, be on time because after you is the next 20 and the next 20. So you have to be here on time. And they burn you. Literally, you get burnt from inside out. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, in doing this treatment and going through it, it's a whole other set of pains and aches and burns and, and uh, feeling and everything just as bad as chemo that you go through. But then, the one day on the way to treatment, I saw the girl power walking around the lake, you know? And I had asked God every day. I prayed to him, God, help me through this, please. And he would send me signs. And normally we miss all these signs. We don't pay attention to these signs. But he does send signs. And he sent me signs and I paid attention. And I saw the girl. And I said to my wife, I need to pull over and thank her because the dream I've had of her power walking and what I did, I believe helped me. And she said, no, don't do it. Don't pull over because she's going to spray you with pepper mace. She's going to call the cops. She's going to think that he's trying to kidnap her. And I was like, no, no. I just want to say hello and just let her know. So we pulled over. I got out of the car. I I told her, get out of the car with me. Let's wave to her, smile, so she doesn't feel like we're attacking her. Because I don't know her. And she's power walking towards us. And I'm waving to her from a distance. And she's looking at me, and I'm like, She's not waving back. She continues her power walk. And as determined as she was, right towards me. And I'm like, oh, boy. Is she going to, like, spray me, shoot me, or I don't know. (laughs) And she basically walked right up to my face and stood in front of me 
And then she reached out and touched my cheeks, and she goes, how you doing? Will, how you feeling? I was like, how do you know me? All right, we got to take another short break here. We're going to be back in a moment. You're listening to Holistic Healthy Living on TuneIn Radio and the BBM Global Network. I'm Carrie Leto, and we will be right back. Do you battle with weight loss? There is a solution. Founder of Weight No More Consulting, Deborah Simons, can help you lose weight safely and effectively through weight loss surgery. I know. I had the surgery two years ago, and I am 135 pounds lighter and medication-free. This full-service weight loss center caters to your every need as you navigate to a healthy weight following surgery. Servicing all of Canada, Weight No More Consulting takes pride in its compassionate care and guides you through each step before and after surgery. Starting with informational meetings, Weight No More Consulting educates each potential client before they decide to have surgery on the health risks of obesity and the various weight loss surgeries available. After surgery, Weight No More Consulting provides a solid support system with ongoing meetings to ensure continued success. Deborah Simons and Weight No More Consulting are committed to promoting your health and wellness through maintaining a healthy weight for life. For over 50 years, Evelyn Stapula has been a loving advocate for people with disabilities throughout the state of Pennsylvania. President and founder of Big Heart Bridges, her organization actively campaigns for legislation and support of civil liberties that meet the needs of disabled individuals with housing, transportation, and employment. Ms. Stapula has joined forces with a variety of esteemed organizations that advocate for the disabled. She serves on the board of the United Cerebral Palsy of Pittsburgh and the Governor's Cabinet and Advisory Committee for People with disabilities, and she is a consultant for the Pennsylvania Governor's Conference for Women. Her many efforts have led to the implementation of a transportation program for the disabled with the Access Paratransit System of Allegheny County. Evelyn Stapula strives daily to serve the interests of the disabled, to protect their freedoms, and enable them to live normal public lifestyles. To learn more, please call 412-491-2605 or email Evelyn at ers92645 at verizon.net. Welcome back to Holistic Healthy Living. We're on TuneIn Radio and the BBM Global Network. I'm Carrie Leto. Tonight's guest is William Anthony. Uh, Will conquered cancer. We're hearing his story. Uh, Will, you were just telling us about the Power Walker. Uh, You stopped your car. uh, Your wife pulled the car over and uh, you were going to say hello to her. So let's continue there. Yes. So basically, you know, this power walker, which I used to see and, and had a dream about, is what got me out of bed during my chemo and started making me walk in the house and trying to get the chemo out. And when I got to the situation of, like, I started feeling better from doing that, from not just laying in bed. And um, I had told the doctor, and he said, you know what, you're circulating the chemo throughout your whole body, so you're actually doing a good thing, but don't overdo it. So anyhow, one day I'm, we're on the road. And I see the power walker, and she's walking, and I pull over, and my wife, I said, I need to say hello. And my wife's like, she's going to spray it with pepper mace. She's going to call the cops. You don't know her. I was like, I know, I know, but let me just try. And, and, and I see her coming, and I wave to her, and she doesn't wave back. And I'm like, oh, boy, I'm in trouble. And she comes, walks right up to me with her fists, and then she puts her hand on my cheek, and she goes, how are you feeling? How are you doing? I was like, how do you know me? And she's like, I know you. We have mutual friends on Facebook. You've been sharing your story with everybody and your battle and how you're going to beat this. And she goes, you're very inspiring. And I never reached out to you. I never, but I do know you. And I'm hoping that you're okay. And I was like, I'm, I'm doing good. I'm actually very good. I said, and I just wanted to tell you that you're very inspirational to me. You helped me. I had a dream about you. And we both shed a tear, hugged each other. And today, one of my best friends, I call her my inspirational angel. And that's a sign from God. That God Absolutely. put this person there that inspired me to do this without nobody telling me. Okay? Mm-hmm. You know, they tell you, because they have to treat so many people, they tell you the basics. But there's certain things that I like to share with everybody that if you're battling cancer or you just found out you had cancer or any type of illness. I had really good doctors. And the one first thing that the one doctor said to me goes, okay, you're going to need all these prescriptions. He gave me literally 40, 50 different pills. And I was like, what is all this? Wow. He goes, consider it your toolbox. 
I don't want you calling me at three o'clock in the morning that you that you got this or that you feel like this or that you need that. This is your toolbox, all right? Most of it is as needed, and the other half is you have to take them regularly, all right? So you just follow along, and it's one of the greatest things you did because now I was ready for everything because, you know, when you go through this, you end up constipated. You end up with diarrhea. You end up with this and that and that. So I was ready for all of it, you know, and Mm -hmm. I kept – Good records of everything I took, when I took it, the times I took it. You just got to make sure you do all that. And then the other good thing was the other doctor said to me, when you have to go for chemo, it doesn't matter where you go, okay? I'm going to send you someplace close to home, to your home, so you don't have to travel that far. You can be home because you're going to need to go back and forth a lot for the treatments and, and, the, and the hydration. So I'm going to prescribe it. So it doesn't matter where you go. And I was like, oh. So I heard a lot of people, and people were telling me, you need to go to Sloan Kettering, you need to go to, like, to you know, Pennsylvania, you need to Philadelphia, you need to go there, this, here. And then I know people who actually travel hours for their treatment. And mm-hmm. I was like, you don't have to. You don't have to. You can go there, and they could be your main doctors if that's who you want to be your doctor, but you can actually go for treatments closer. Right? Then prescribe it. Find a place closer for you. That's a less stress. You know, Absolutely. The stress of getting up and having to go for your treatments is, is stressful. So anyhow, this is all part of this battle and things I found out along the way, along with maintaining a proper diet and trying to stay away from the processed foods. Because mm-hmm. it turns out that the chemicals in the foods is what gave me cancer. I had high levels of nitrates and sulfites in me. I was mm-hmm. a big cold cut eater, hot dog eater, um, you know, Bird King eater, being on the road. I was always mm-hmm. on the road and like, you know, blah, blah, blah. No, you can't do that. You know, the cold cuts that we used to eat as kids is not the same stuff today. When you eat American cheese, it turns out it's all processed cheese. Processed. It's all chemicals. Yep. Yes. It's, it's, you know, it's chemicals with yellow number four and orange number 10. Who knows what mm-hmm. numbers. But anyhow, yep. it's all chemicals. So you just have to be very careful of all this. And it turns out that sugar feeds cancer. So if you've got a cancer cell, it doesn't know which way to go, whether to become cancerous or just to kind of hang out and you eat sugar, you're feeding it. And it just yep. wants to go. It just wants to take off and grow along with the other bad one, which I didn't realize was is, is caffeine mm-hmm. because just like caffeine agitates and gives you energy and, and gives you, you know, and, and, and wakes you up. It does the same thing to cancer cells. Mm-hmm. Cancer cell could be dormant, could be hanging out. But listen, you give it caffeine, it wants to take off. It wants to grow. It wants to do its thing. So you have to stay away from those two main things. They're very important. And try to make your body more alkaline. And, you know, think holistically. Think, you know, healthy. Because the world that we live in right now, it's a very difficult world. And they... And the foods are definitely poisoning us. It is. Yes, mm-hmm. you know, I'm from I agree. Ar- I was born in I was born in Argentina, and my family's half Argentinian, half Italian. Mm-hmm. And in Argentina, when you hear somebody gets cancer, people are like, "Oh my gosh, she's got cancer!" Oh, you know, because you don't hear it that much. You mm-hmm. know, you don't really hear it here. I bet you everybody, even on the radio now, knows somebody who has cancer or who's going through cancer mm-hmm. or some serious illness. And it's literally because of the foods that we eat and our environment, which can mm-hmm. be the air, the radiation, you name it. So you need to be on, let's say, a battlefield and be able to combat all these things on a daily basis if you want to continue to make it. Basically, that's what it comes down to. That's so right. It's, very, it's a very hard battle. But um, uh, holistically, you know, it's very important. And the meditation that you did in the beginning of the program, it was very good and very, very important to do, too, because, you know, stress brings on a lot of problems, too. So mm-hmm. if you're able to meditate and just relax, I do it every morning. I meditate. Mm-hmm. I pray. And I, do, I do my prayers to God, thanking God for everything. And I meditate and I relax my body and all the situations and problems that arise, you know, my financial problems, because cancer definitely wipes you out financially. And I said to him, and, and 
during my cancer battle, I realized that nothing matters. Everything is really BS because, because health is the number one thing. Absolutely. And I, I think it's it's wonderful how you took your health into your own hands here. You took your, your matters into your own hands here. Um, your will was, was very, very strong. Um, so we're going to take another short break here. You're listening to Holistic Healthy Living on TuneIn Radio and the BBM Global Network. I'm Carrie Leto, and we will be right back. Intergenerational programming is uniting America due to the tireless efforts of Dr. Ramona Frischman. Retired from the Miami-Dade County Public School System, Dr. Frischman continues to develop intergenerational learning programs aimed to improve the lives of children, young adults, and seniors through unique strategies and public policy in order to establish a mutually supportive agenda. She views intergenerational programs as a resource for policymakers and the general public on economic, social, and personal initiatives that govern our society. Her work bridges the generational gap, providing many individuals the opportunity to explore areas of common ground and celebrate each other's diversity. Contact Ramona Frischman at RamonaLong at AOL.com or visit www.gu.org to learn more about intergenerational programming. Introducing BetterHomeAndGarden.com. That's www.BetterHomeAndGarden.com with just the letter N in Better Home and Garden. BetterHomeAndGarden.com offers you the highest quality products on the market that are environmentally safe and effective and to make them available to you at the lowest possible prices. BetterHomeAndGarden.com understands that kind of creativity and do-it-yourself attitude. Thus, we developed our website, BetterHomeAndGarden.com. BetterHomeAndGarden.com offers you the following products right online. Bath, bedding, collectibles, craft, sewing and hobby, food and beverage, furniture, home decor, kitchen and dining, lamps and lighting, large appliances, musical instruments, outdoor cooking, patio items, pet supplies, plant and garden, rug and floor covering, small appliances, travel and luggage, and so much more. Better Home and Garden is an online retailer offering a wide variety of high-quality brand name merchandise at discount prices. Our service is personal and we aim to please. Visit us at www.betterhomeandgarden.com. Make your home your own. Welcome back to Holistic Healthy Living. We're on TuneIn Radio and the BBM Global Network. I'm Carrie Leto. Tonight we're talking to William Anthony, who conquered cancer. We're going to continue that conversation right now. Will, you're on. Yes, how you doing? How are you? Good, right. how you doing? So, you know, like I was saying before, part of this battle is not just the, the, the change of diet and environment and whatever you think that probably could have gave you the cancer or the illness. But this, the mind is very powerful and, and, and can really change things. And what I had was this one experience where when I was going through radiation, they would put me in, you know, on one of those like MRI tables and stick me in this big machine and this big rotating machine would go around me. And I was literally strapped down. They created a mask so I couldn't move. And this mask would would hold me in place in the same position every day. And you you literally strap down. You can't move at all, not even a, a centimeter. You can't because the radiation then will end up damaging an area that you don't want it to. So they need to really pinpoint these areas that they're attacking with radiation. They put a block of rubber in your mouth that you bite down on, and they strap you in. And now I was never one to really um, – have a problem with like claustrophobia or anything, mm-hmm. but you're in there for about an hour and I would be put in there and I would start with my prayers in my head, thanking God, please God, get me through this. I pray to you, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, and, and doing this. And then, you know, 15 minutes into this, I felt like I got to get out of here. This, mm-hmm. I can't stay still. I can't, I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. But anyhow, I told my doctor, and he said, listen, I'll prescribe some anti-anxiety pills. I'll help you calm down and you'll relax. You should be okay, blah, blah, blah. And then I talked to my one friend who's uh, into the martial arts and into holistic healing and everything. And I said to her, I said, you know, I'm having a hard time with this. And she said to me, well, are, do you meditate? I said, well, I do prayers and I try to just like, you know, relax. And she goes, no, no, no. She goes, you really have to do, be a little more into it, get a little deeper and meditate. She goes, you need to put yourself in a perfect place that you enjoy, that you have fun, that you like, that you want to be, and put yourself there. Think about, you know, 
the temperature. Like, what do you like? I said, I like being on a beach, tropical. She goes, perfect. Put yourself on a beach. Feel the sun on your face. Feel the warmth. Really, like, pinpoint on everything. So mm-hmm. I used to do my do my prayers. I would put myself in a tropical setting, which was always somehow I ended up at the tiki bar. Mm-hmm. And at the tiki bar, I'd have all my, like, best friends, my, all my female friends and my wife and everybody. And we're all just sitting there. We're talking and we're having conversations and we're, and we're playing music and I'm asking, you know, I'm, I'm drinking tequila and, and having a good old time. And, we're, and, and it's so nice. And we're having a, a, such a fantastic time. And I would put myself there every day that I went for radiation. And before you know it, the girl would come up to me, to me and go, all right, well, you're all done. And I would go, well, wait a second. Already? You can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having such a good time. Uh, I'm not ready to come out yet. Yeah, <laughs> you were in a zone. Come on. <laughs> yeah. So I went from, like, I can't take this to now, like, um, you know what? You just, you just interrupted a really good time. I Going off into another to really place. Have... <laughs> <laughs> yep. I was just about to really have, like, you know, a blast here. And now you just ruined my good time. But anyhow. Yeah. That type, and, and because I was doing it on a daily basis, it became easier to get to that place, and mm-hmm. it became more intense, more realistic. I was even smelling, hearing, tasting, all the good stuff that I was doing. I was mm-hmm. ordering lobster, and I'm talking to my like, look how good this is, and oh, pass me the butter, and blah, 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 and like really, like, you know, the whole scenario. So mm-hmm. that... It was really helping me. And then oh, yeah. even after radiation, I got through that. And my doctor, Dr. Wong, he's Chinese and he's very good. And he was, and I said to him, I said, doctor, besides all this, what is, what else can I do? He goes, well, he goes, you, you change your diet, you got to die. I go, yeah. He goes, okay. He goes, just remember this. He goes, very important. I go, what? He goes, mind over matter, mind over matter. He points mm-hmm. to his head. And I'm like, wait a second, you're a medical doctor. You're not supposed to be telling me this. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, and, he, and I, said, I said, mind over matter. He goes, the, because the brain, the mind is very powerful. Yes. He goes, so he goes, he goes, you just, you just stick with it. He goes, you're going to be okay. He goes, I promise you. He goes, I never, I never paralyzed, made somebody blind or, unable to beat this. He goes, so don't ruin my record. I said, <laughs> I said, don't worry about it. I said, I'm with you. And I got through all this and um, I went to see my, my one doctor and they started doing scans and he comes back and he said, listen, he goes, we just did a scan and this was after everything, the radiation, the chemo and everything. He goes, you got a lot of scar tissue, but we don't see any cancer. Mm-hmm. The cancer is gone. I'm like, really? Yeah, he goes, God bless you. He goes, mm-hmm. congratulations. He goes, I think we got it all. And I was like, oh, my God. I go, I go, thank you. you know. And I'm like, holy cow. I felt beat up. I felt burnt, beat up, full of chemicals, full of everything. But I, I'm like, I beat this. All right. I need to continue what I'm doing. I need to continue this diet. I need to continue being as 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 positive and as healthy as possible because mm-hmm. I don't want this coming back because that's the other problem that I found out when I was meeting the other people going through cancer there. They're like, yeah, I beat it the first time, but I'm back. This is my second time. And mm-hmm. then other people are like, no, third time. This is my third time. I'm like, wow. Oh my God. Like this stuff doesn't just go away and it's gone. Like it could come back. And they're like, basically, yeah. So wh- why is it coming back to a lot of people? Because a lot of people do not do what they're supposed to. Once they beat the cancer, they go right back to doing the things that gave them cancer in the the first place. Lifestyle choices. Yeah. Yeah. They go right Mm -hmm. back to the whole thing, you know? Yeah. So basically you really have to change all that, you know? Absolutely. And that's, 
Yeah, that's that's one thing we're always talking about here on Holistic Healthy Living. We're going to take another short break now. We're on TuneIn Radio and the BBM Global Network. Uh, Stay tuned. We will be right back. There are artists and then there's Alice Asmar. This award-winning artist has spent her entire life devoted to her artistic pursuits and has had a lifelong fascination with American Indians of the southwestern United States. Her book, Dance to the Great Spirit, showcases her drawings and paintings inspired by sacred rituals of the Pueblo. Indians, and four of her lithographs are in permanent collection at the National Museum of American History in the Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C. She is one of four artists in the United States to win a Woolley Fellowship for study in Paris at L'École des Beaux-Arts and has been featured in numerous publications. She's exhibited at the world's most prestigious museums and galleries and recently won a 20-year service award from the Burbank City Council and the inaugural art competition of the Foundation of the United States in Paris. Visit www.asmarart.com, www.aliceasmarinternational.com, and email alice at aliceasmar at aol.com. Do you ever wonder why certain things are happening in your life? How to start a business or a new direction? Need answers? Astrologer Bonnie Perbula can help you reveal your true self and gain strength and focus so you can achieve greater joy and success. Working with a natal birth date, time, and location, Bonnie brings out qualities to aid you in getting the best from your life. She can help you unlock dormant traits to bring you greater awareness. Bonnie also conducts public speaking engagements to educate aspiring astrologers on their journey to the stars. A gifted artist, Bonnie bridges her talents and recently launched a line of Astro Bears, uniquely created in colors of individuals' astrology charts. She also makes one-of-a-kind necklaces of crystal beads and woven thread. To learn more about the world of Bonnie Prabula, go to BonnieGPrabula.com. And for astrology consulting, visit AstrologyConsultants.com or call or email her at 808-526-1536 or BonnieGP at AOL.com. Welcome back to Holistic Healthy Living. I'm Carrie Leto. We're on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Tonight we're talking with William Anthony, who conquered cancer, and now he's helping others do the same through his nonprofit organization called Mavita Rocks. So, Will, tell us about Mavita Rocks. Well, Mavita Rocks came about during my cancer battle, and basically because, um, you know, financially I was having such a hard time and I was so sick. And going through chemo and everything, I made a deal with the credit card companies to please just take out a certain amount of money every month. And they said, okay, and anything, everything seemed to be okay. But then all of a sudden, they put a, a, a levy on my account and money that I had saved up for my mortgage and bills. They took it off. They took it off. And I'm like, you know, this is horrible. I'm sick. I can't, I can't work. I got no money. I'm going to lose my house. My wife is, like, freaking out, blah, blah. And I'm like, in, 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 in the midst of all this illness, and I prayed very hard to God, and I said, God, please get me through this. You know, what can I do? You know, help me. And the next morning, I woke up, and I started feeling better. And I was looking at a picture of my mom. My mom, as a kid, used to call me Mi Vida, which means my life in Spanish. She goes, Mi Vida. And I saw her call me Mi Vida. And then I said to my partner when she came over, who's, a bit, who's in business and also a paralegal, I said, how hard is it to start a nonprofit? Can we use a nonprofit maybe to like, where it could help me with paying the bills? Like, can I give them money? She's like, no, you can't do that. And she, I, she said, it's very difficult to start a nonprofit organization. I said, well, I need to do something to protect my funds. So I started really thinking about it and praying to God. And I came up with this idea of creating this nonprofit organization that helps people pay their bills. So how does it work? I became the first benefactor of Mivito Rocks. What we did, we did was we had an event and we were able to raise over $30,000 for me. I helped because I was in, and part of my business was event management. So I could run big events. So we mm-hmm. ran an event. I had everybody support. I had so many people support and donations and everything. And we were able to raise $30,000 and we put it into this nonprofit that we created. When I called the government and I started this nonprofit, they, they called me and interviewed me. And they said, what is this about? And I told them what I was doing. And the guy that interviewed said to me, you know, I lost my son to cancer. What you're doing is fantastic to help other people. I will give you immediate 501-3 status. Congratulations. I hope this works out and you're able to help a lot of people. So basically, that's what we did. And now through Mivito, we're able to raise money and create donation sites for people. 
and tell their story and be able to donate money, and then they have to submit bills of what we call necessities of life, and the reader will pay the bills. My 30000 for my benefit went into there, and just like everybody else, I had to submit bills, and, mm-hmm. the, and then the reader would write the check. That money being in a nonprofit account and will then is untouchable. They, nobody can touch it, and then securely they're able to pay people's bills. So if you want, had a friend that needed this help, because, you know, when you receive all these donations, if you got people helping you, it does change everything because now that's income and it could affect your benefits and it could affect a lot of things. So through this method, um, the money goes to paying bills, not to go on a trip to buy a new car or to do whatever. People mm-hmm. also who had GoFundMe accounts and had raised $20,000, all of a sudden that 20000 becomes income. Also, the creditors say, hey, thank you. And they came and they would take the whole 20000 So all right. that money that people donated to help somebody is now gone. Horrible. So what's a way to do it? This is a great way to do it because the money goes in there, it's protected, and then that money only pays people's bills. So that's that's basically how, how Mi Vida works. Well, thank you so much for so, what you're doing. Uh, thank you for giving back. Thank you for telling us your inspiring story. Um, what's How did people get to the website? You can go on www.mivita, M-I-V as in Victor, I-D as in dog, A, Mivita Rocks, dot com. So, uh, excuse Wonderful. me. Wonderful. It's just dot rocks. It's not dot com. No dot com. It's just dot Mivita Rocks. rocks. Mavita dot yeah. rocks. And you can you can go on that website, you can see how I battled cancer and, and, and the story. And then you can always send me an email, a message, and if you just need me to talk to someone, that's what we do. We consult people, we help people through the, the, these battles. Thank you so, so much, Will. And thank you for everybody to right. listening to Holistic Healthy Living tonight. Yeah. Remember those re- magical hours of sleep. Start winding down. I'm Carrie Leto. We're on the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. Namaste, everyone. This has been Holistic Healthy Living with your host, Carrie Leto. Carrie believes prevention is key to keeping disease away. Tune in each week as Carrie offers integrative, alternative, and complementary choices to Western medicine. Here on Carrie Leto's Holistic Healthy Living. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.